Let's look at the airspeed indications during approach and landing. The initial speed reduction for approach is started automatically by the FMS or by the pilot with the speed selector on the mode control panel. You use the approach ref page to tell the FMC the flap setting for landing. If you push the init ref key during the descent or approach, the approach ref page shows immediately. Push the init ref key now. The V ref speeds for the three landing flap settings are shown for the current gross weight. Copy the flaps 30 speed to the scratch pad. Push the line select key again to set the speed in the CDU. The VREF speed is now shown in large characters on the CDU. The green reference bug and the white VREF plus 20 bug are set. Right now the bugs are off scale. The set VREF speed does not automatically change as gross weight changes. You must set a new VREF speed for a new gross weight if a large amount of fuel was used. First, delete the current VREF speed. A new speed shows. Enter the speed as you did before. The VREF and VREF plus 20 bugs are set at their new values. Again, the bugs are off scale. If the FMC is an operative, you use the speed reference selector to set the current gross weight and the VREF speed bugs. Turn the outer knob to wait. Use the inner knob to set the current gross weight of 127,000 pounds. The green up bug moves to the flaps up maneuvering speed for the new gross weight. Now turn the outer knob to VREF. The flap reference speed enunciation only displays for VREF values set using the FMC CDU not for VREF values set with the speed reference selector on the CDS engine control panel. Use the inner knob to set 136 knots. The green VREF bug and white VREF plus 20 bug are set to their new values. The bugs are off scale. If the outer knob is turned to V1 or VR, invalid entry is shown. You cannot set V1 and VR in flight. You turn the outer knob to set to remove the digital readout on the airspeed indicator. Now let's look at the approach. In this example, the FMC is available and VREF is set. As airspeed is decreased for landing, you extend the flaps. Decrease airspeed to flaps up maneuvering speed and set flaps 1. The flaps 1 bug shows. Decrease airspeed to flaps 1 speed and set flaps 5. The flaps 5 bug shows. As the VREF airspeed comes into view, the reference indication moves adjacent to it. The flap setting flap speed digital indication remains parked at the bottom. Decrease airspeed to flaps 5 speed. As you prepare for landing, lower the gear and set flaps 15. The flaps 15 bug does not show if the calculated airspeed is within 4 knots of VREF. In this example, the two speeds are only 4 knots different from each other. Decrease airspeed to the flaps 15 speed if the flaps 15 bug is shown. 
If the flaps 15 bug is not shown, decrease speed to VREF plus 5. In this example, decrease the airspeed to 141 knots. Set landing flaps. Maintain VREF plus 5 on the approach. The maximum flap extension speed band for the next flap setting disappears when FMC CDU selected landing flaps are set. All numbered flap bugs are removed when the flap lever is moved to the landing flap setting selected on the approach ref page. Now, let's look at the airspeed indications during a go around. At go around power, set flaps 15. Normally, the flaps 15 and flaps 5 bugs show. If the flaps 15 airspeed is within VREF plus 4, the flaps bug does not show. At flap retraction altitude, retract the flaps as you did during takeoff. Increase airspeed to flaps up maneuvering speed. At VREF plus 20, set flaps 5. At flaps 5 speed, set flaps 1. At flaps 1 speed, set flaps up. Increase airspeed as required. The flap bugs are removed when the flaps are up. The green up bug, the VREF bug, and VREF plus 20 bug stay in view.